Assalamu alaikum family. In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness there is no God but Allah who came to us in the persons of Master Farq Muhammad. I bear witness that the most honorable Elijah Muhammad is indeed thine exalted Christ. And I furthermore indeed bear witness that the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is our divine reminder, leader, teacher, and guide. I greet you all in the nation, greeted words of peace and paradise of Assalamu alaikum, Hotek, peace, shalom. As always, on behalf of Brother Albert Muhammad and the Let Us Make Man family, we thank you all for taking the time again to read our posts, uh, click on our videos, your, your continuous support for our efforts here at the Let Us Make Man family or with the Let Us Make Man family. Today, what we want to do is touch a subject that literally we were supposed to touch right after the month of Ramadan. However, due to current events and, and current situations within the black community caused us to alter our scheduling. And this is why we had to put it on hold. However, today we want to touch base real briefly on a subject that we were we wanted to really kind of give you an input on. This is literally for those who may not be a member of the Nation of Islam. Those of you who may have attended a mosque meeting or may have, you know, attended a study group session at some point in your life. Those of you who may affiliate with the Nation of Islam periodically and you know you support us and we thank you we thank you we thank you this would be literally for you and the topic is I will send you Elijah but I want to talk about Elijah the most honorable Elijah Muhammad that's what we want to deal with real briefly because it's a subject that's so relevant and so needed at this day and time, coming from your little brother, trying to reach out and share with our friends and associates their, the wisdom of the life-giving teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as given to us by the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. The scripture said, I will send you Elijah. That's Malachi 4, chapter 4, verse 5. But the question is, who is Elijah? See, something happened with our people here in the wilderness of North America. We didn't see ourselves worthy enough for God to send us a messenger, a prophet, a savior. So when we ran across that verse many years ago, we didn't think that that would apply to us. God said, I will send you Elijah. All praises due to Allah. And I thank Almighty God Allah, who came in the persons of Master Far Muhammad. And when he came, he made himself known. And he made himself known in Black Bottom, Detroit. He made it simple. He said, my name is W.F. Muhammad. Then he said, I came to North America by myself. Right? He also told us that my uncle was bought here by the trader. 379 years ago. He went on to say, he does not know he's my uncle. Speaking of the lost found Muslims, African Americans here in the wilderness of North America, who does not know or did not know that he that they were the uncle of the God, Master Fat Muhammad. He said that my uncle meaning likes the devil. Because the devil gives him nothing. So on his journey in the wilderness of North America, when he came and made himself known, 
he sought and he seeked and he searched for that one. In the book of Revelation 5, 12, the scripture says, worthy is the lamb. Huh? Worthy is the lamb. Going back to Elijah. See, we didn't see it then and many of us don't see it now. That Elijah Muhammad, formerly known as Elijah Poole, would be that one. That lamb. That Allah had came. God said, I would come. Seeking and searching for that which was lost. Right? He didn't send nobody. He came himself. And little old Elijah Poole at the time. Just a mere brother as, as many of us Was invited to hear The teachings of Master Fahd Muhammad By his wife, Mother Clara Muhammad So Elijah Muhammad decided to go I'm trying to go somewhere with this Elijah Muhammad decided to go and sit in and listen to the teachings of Master Fahd Muhammad. Now, Elijah Muhammad came from a family of sharecroppers. Uh, people that owned part of the land that they were growing crop. And they had to basically pay taxes to the quote unquote landowners with the crop that they were growing. So, a portion of their funds or their monies went to the quote unquote land owners, the slave owners, sharecroppers, right? So Elijah Muhammad coming from a family of sharecroppers and his family, meaning his parents were known as supporters of Marcus Garvey, right? At that time, Marcus Garvey was the hottest thing out. The Pan-African movement, the Back to Africa movement. So, like any child, they're gonna follow and support their parent. So, Elijah Muhammad became a supporter and follower of Marcus Garvey. I'm talking to those who may not be in the nation of Islam, who may be curious about the foundation, the birth, of the nation of Islam coming from the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. Because I want to talk about Elijah Muhammad today. That's what I want to talk about. Coming from a family of sharecroppers, hardworking family, little Elijah. I believe he went as far as the third to fourth grade of education because he wasn't able to actually go to school like many of us have the chance to today. He had to take and go in the field and support the family. I'm talking about hard labor. Picking back a, a crop, whatever they, were, whatever they were doing at the time. Marcus Garvey was the hottest thing out there. However, the teachers of Marcus Garvey were so relevant at that time and so good for our people, but it still wasn't what it was going to take to raise Elijah Muhammad. God came, man, in the persons of Master Fahd Muhammad. And as I stated earlier, the scripture says, worthy is the lamb. So out of all of those that Master Fahd Muhammad met with, before meeting Elijah Muhammad, Elijah Muhammad proved to be worthy. Huh? Elijah Muhammad proved to be disciplined, obedient to his teacher, Master Fahd Muhammad. And because of that, Master Fahd Muhammad took and taught Elijah Muhammad personally, one on one, for three and a half years. Think about the times that the black man was in. In 1930, 
Now, from 1930 to 1934, and from 1934 up into 2016, huh? What Marcus Garvey gave us was the strength and hope to return back to Africa and get away from the cruelty that this Caucasian was putting on our people. But our people have fell so far to sleep. They couldn't see Mar Marcus Garvey and understand the back to Africa movement and the unity that it was going to take. So Allah came himself. And when he came, he decided that he would search until he find that one. In finding that one, he found the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. See? Elijah Muhammad, so let me say this to you, black man and black woman, for those who may not really, quote unquote, in our language, some of the language we use today, feel Elijah Muhammad or the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad as taught today by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. Put yourself in the position of Elijah Muhammad in 1934, when it was just him and his wife, Mother Clara Muhammad. Black women don't have a clue of what it's like to be in her shoes, backing her husband 1,000% because she took him to Master Fahd Muhammad. And when he met the God, he, he at that point, he came in a sense of out of the triple state of darkness that he was in, looking like he was slain from the bottomless pits of the earth. When charity came around, he had one dime to his name, 10 cent, digging deep, and he gave. And he had a chance to speak with Master Fahd Muhammad. And the first thing he said to Master Fahd Muhammad, I know who you are. Master Fahd Muhammad's reply was, keep that to yourself for now. Immediately, Elijah Muhammad recognized who Master Fahd Muhammad was. Huh? I'm trying to talk to you about Elijah Muhammad for a reason today worthy is the lamb man who else could have gave Elijah Muhammad what he gave Elijah Muhammad a, a man of a, a third grade education coming from a family of sharecroppers and built a nation on the back of that Elijah Muhammad man everybody talks about the limbs and the fruit from the tree but they try to forget the foundation, the tree itself. Huh? How do you talk about the fruit that fall from the tree or the limbs attached to the tree, but you forget about the foundation, the root of the tree itself? So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan made sure that no one will, the name of Elijah Muhammad will never be forgotten. The work of Elijah Muhammad would never be forgotten. So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan went on a crusade, making sure Elijah Muhammad lives, man. Right? So what we're doing and we're responsible as a civilized or civilized people is to do the exact same thing. Teach civilization to our people, making sure the name of Elijah Muhammad, the work of Elijah Muhammad, the work of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan lives, man. You say, well, Elijah Muhammad was just an ordinary preacher. I beg your pardon. Neil Armstrong and the scientists of America or the world didn't know nothing about the diameter of the planet. They knew nothing about the distance from the moon to the, to the sun. The distance from the earth to the sun. To Allah told the Honorable Elijah Muhammad that the earth was 93 million miles away from the sun. God taught Elijah, man. See? 
Elijah Muhammad was taught by Master Fahd Muhammad the diameter of the planet, of the planet Earth. He taught him the actual facts, the circumference of the planet Earth, 24,896 miles. He taught him again the diameter of 7,000 at 926 miles. This is what God taught Elijah Muhammad, man. This white man knew nothing about it. And what happened was when they hijacked Elijah Muhammad teachings, then they went to work. They started exploring the depths of the earth, the depths of the water. They never knew nothing about the area of the water. They had no idea about the area of the water being one 139 million 685 85,000 square miles the area of the water again 139 million 685,000 square miles well if God didn't teach Elijah Muhammad find me one that can dispute it in 2016 I'm waiting I'm waiting I'm trying to show you the power and the majesty of what Allah gave the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And in turn, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad gave it to us. But like Master Fahd Muhammad had to find that one. The honorable Elijah Muhammad had to find that one. And when he felt that one, he shaped, fashioned, and molded that one. We know today as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the champion of truth, man, toured the world and received as head of state all throughout the world, man, Farrakhan. Farrakhan told the Muslims in the East, I didn't graduate from your universities, your schools of theologies. I was taught by the most honorable Elijah Muhammad who was taught by God in the person. Huh? That's what Farrakhan told the Muslims in the East. And the work of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is manifest right before our eyes. In 1934, and, and uh, moving forward or beyond that, the black man didn't have no businesses. They didn't have airplanes. They wasn't moving product. They wasn't doing national trade. They wasn't trading with other countries and doing businesses with other countries. Until Allah came in the persons of Master Fahd Muhammad and gave Elijah Muhammad the wisdom and the power that he gave him through the teachings of the supreme wisdom. Elijah Muhammad took that wisdom and he built the nation of Islam. I'm talking about Elijah Muhammad this, this afternoon. This has been on my heart to deal with during the month of Ramadan. But in respect to the month of Ramadan, we put it off to deal with it today. We can't go on and allow no one to ride the coattail of the nation of Islam and not recognize the foundation and the man on the scene today. The most honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, right? We talking about Elijah Muhammad. And again, if you just tune in, this message is literally directed to those who may not be members of the nation of Islam, those who may have attended a few mosque meetings, who may have attended a few study group sessions, I'm talking to you, man. I want you to know that the love that Allah gave the most honorable Elijah Muhammad and instilled in Elijah Muhammad from 1934 to 1975, Elijah Muhammad put it in us. His people, even though he was scorned, ridiculed, talked about, land-based and everything under the sun, that comes with the work, man. You can't be in this kind of work and not 
not be attacked in some shape, form, or fashion. Right? It is time that you join on to your own kind. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad, in the Supreme Wisdom book, which is our lessons, problem number 13, he said, he taught us this. After learning mathematics, which is Islam, and Islam is mathematics, it stands true. You can always prove it at no limit of time. Then you must learn to use it and secure some benefit while you are living. That is luxury, money, good homes, friendships, and all walks of life. He gave you the tools that it would take for you to secure these benefits. Just recently, I shared a post that I saw on one of my sister's page. The president of the Philippines going after America for her cruelty to the children of the slaves. China went after America for her cruelty of the children of the slaves. But go and listen to the president of the Philippines, man. You can see in his, 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 you can see his passion, his commitment that he was hurt to see how the police in the United States is shooting black men and women down worse than wild game and getting away with it. And we got a black president and the DOJ, the Department of Justice, is ran by a black woman. And the United States police force is gunning black men, women, and children down to the point where foreigners are st standing out now, speaking out. So we got to support the president of the Philippines because you better believe they're going to go after him. This is their nature, man. This is what they do. Whenever you challenge this beast, this is what they do. That man stood up on love. That man stood up on the, on the heart of his soul and spoke out for the children of the slaves in North America, the black man and black woman. I salute the president of the Philippines for speaking out about crimes committed against the children of the slaves in 2016 when you have black men and women in America who stand with our open enemy trying to justify the murder of our men, women, and children to the point that they don't have no compassion or remorse but the messenger promised us or told us that we would gain friendship in all walks of life. So you see the work of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan right before your eyes coming true. The only way that you're going to be able to deal with this beast, to deal with these, this crooked judicial system, to deal with this white man's law is that you have to unite. And now you have our brothers and sisters abroad who are speaking out on our behalf, standing up for us, where it's time that we stand up for ourselves. Right? As I stated, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad has to be the Messiah, our Savior, man. God came and raised him up. And if you go back and research history and study the way the most honorable Elijah Muhammad taught straight direct to the court no more no less he said what he had to say he meant what he meant that's it that is the way the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan teach today straight direct to the court he says what he has to say no more no less means what he say and he backs what he said Allah told the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan that he would be backed by the God himself and the most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan came before us and told us, since America choose not to have 
entity or sympathy towards the children of the slaves since America choose to continue to kill the children of the slaves. Watch the weather. You mourning for Louisiana. Why mourn when Allah called this into existence? The people of Noah didn't believe until the weather hit them. The people of Moses didn't believe until the weather hit them, until the truth hit them. Right? Blacks in America don't believe. And now they're being beat down with truth. Anytime you see the people that's hired and paid by tax dollars to protect and serve outright kill you. And many of your own people back them. Pastors and preachers all over America that has the answer to what they do. We have to make them answer, man. For the love of money, we're selling our souls. The hip hop community has been hijacked. So the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is working hard with the hip hop community to regain the standard that we once had in the hip hop community. But this beast went to work. So what he's doing is playing with the minds of the young brothers and sisters in the hip hop community. Now he's dressing them up and cross dressing. This white man is vicious, man. But I'm trying to get you to see the majesty and the work of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. No one else came and told you the Atlantic Ocean covers 1,321,000 square miles. No one else told you that. They didn't know that. Hell, from history, I believe they thought the planet was flat. God came and taught Elijah Muhammad. There was no so-called Muslim names that we heard in the public in 1920, 1921, 1922. 1929 It was after Allah taught Elijah Muhammad And when he said The original man Is the Asiatic black man The maker, the owner The cream of the planet earth God of the universe No one spoke like that Until Elijah Muhammad stood up Against all odds Right? De 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 defeating or countering the superiority or the superiority mindset this white man had going or still have going today you call it white supremacist you give it the title you give it power Allah came and took that back when he told you that the black man was God who else told you that the black man was God before Elijah Muhammad hmm? you would have never knew that you would have never begin to call your name Ali Rahman, uh, Mustafa Quran, and give your children all these beautiful Muslim attributes. You wouldn't have knew that if Elijah Muhammad didn't stood up. So black man and woman, we owe Elijah, man, to join on to your own kind. They fear the power of a black nation, especially the nation of Islam. Hmm? Check the history of the Holy Quran, nowhere where you see it speaks about anything other than righteousness or the words that God gave Prophet Muhammad himself and that was to establish the nation of Islam as they knew it at that point in time, right? So God came and taught Elijah Muhammad what he needed to know to establish the nation of Islam here in the wilderness of North America. The white man separated us and started calling us black Muslims. Right? This is what was going on. So today, we separate ourselves. Because we don't want to fall in. We don't want to adhere to instructions. Instructions that might save our lives. Don't complain to me about your problems that you think you have in the nation of Islam. Join and be affected change. Join and make the change that's needed to make things right. That's what I'm asking. 
My ultimate goal is to help the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan increase the numbers throughout the nation of Islam all over America, ultimately all over the world. You have to believe until you believe that you are worthy, that God would raise one from amongst your own self as he did for the people of Jesus, the people of Moses, Noah, and the people of Moses, and all those other, Abraham, Lot, he raised one for them. Prophet Muhammad was raised from amongst their own. Why do you have a hard time in 2016 believing that God will raise one for you that look like you, speak with strength? Then he left one for us. A divine reminder. Once again, I speak of none other than the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I pray Almighty God Allah that I was able to say something. There's so much I can say in regards to the most honorable Elijah Muhammad, but I wanted to be as brief as possible, but I knew it would be in a little extension with this topic. If you feel the energy and you would like to hear more from your little brother on the history of Elijah Muhammad, inboxes, hit us, let us know. We have to keep the truth out front. We have to join on to our own kind. Look around you, black America. They respect the nation of Islam, but there's a reason for that. We're giving our general orders. We're giving rules of conduct. We're getting certain aspects that we need to keep us a solid nation. Demand and respect as we give. So with being said, I want to thank you, family, for spending the few moments that you spend with me. If I said anything to offend you, I pray a lot that you will forgive your little brother because I'm just your little brother. I'm just your friend. I'm just doing my part. What I believe to be my part is to share what little wisdom that Allah has blessed me with through the life-giving teachings of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad as is taught today by the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And that's all I'm trying to do with these little videos that we do and the posts that we post. But I wanted to talk about the president of the Philippines because in true family, the world is tired of seeing what's happening to blacks in America. They're tired, just as tired as we are of being killed, of burying our children, men, women, and children. When they start killing your women and children, that means you have to either prepare yourself to die or lay in a grave and throw dirt over yourself because you have given up all hope and all belief in living as a nation, a separate nation. Separation is a must, man. The history has proven the two people can't live together. White people and black people, it's impossible. Separation is a must. For those of you who believe that they can live together, you're fine to live with who you want to live with. For those of you who believe that separation is a must, join on to your own kind. Help us help our people. Join the 10,000 fearless. Join the peacekeepers. Join the nation of Islam, man. And I said this in the previous videos, I'll say it again. If you having a problem finding a study group, a mosque, in your area, in your state, in your city, city, inbox me. Email me, albertmohammed.aj at gmail.com. And I will get you there. I will get you the information that you need to get you linked up to your local mosque or your local study group. So again, family, I pray almighty God Allah, I was able to say something that was worthy of your time today. But I wanted to talk about the most honorable Elijah Muhammad because that's the tree of life to the nation of Islam. That's where everything came from. And it goes back to the tree of life, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. So if you doubt the honorable Elijah Muhammad, please believe me, family. Please believe me. There's nothing greater for the black man and woman in America, ultimately worldwide. Join on to your own kind. Thank you for listening. I'll leave you as I came before you in the nation. Greet the words of peace and paradise. Assalamu alaikum. Hotek. Peace, family. Thank you. Brother Al Muhammad, I'm signing off.